here with uh, Coach Grant Lofton, uh, Junior Ransom Allen. Coach, just for you, obviously in your sixth year, a really good season last year. I think it was the first time back at the national meet since 2008. What, what was just kind of the vibe around that team, and how did you feel overall about what you guys did? Um, at the end of it, we felt great about how we did. Uh, it was an up and down season for sure. Uh, we kind of had a little more drama than we, we wanted with, with illnesses and injuries throughout the season to a lot of our top guys, um, all the way up until the regional meet. And uh, we, we scraped by and got our way into nationals um, barely by the skin of our teeth. And the national meet went extremely well. Um, guys that we raced there uh, did a great job. Uh, you know, one of the best races that we've had as a team um, since I've been at Wayne State. Um, so it was a, yeah, overall, it was a really, really good season. Um, and this year, we're, we're very excited for what the team's able to accomplish uh, coming up in 2022. And Ransom, man, Coach mentioned just the, the up and down ins and outs of injuries and stuff, but you, just a, a model of consistency, what were you able to do throughout the year to just keep your name at the top and be able to kind of anchor this team? Yeah, yeah it was a really good season. Uh, last year I really focused on a lot of the races, like trying to compete to win and be at the front because we've had a couple years off, so like I didn't really know where I stacked up against the rest of the country. So, yeah, I mean, it started out with our home meet. Uh, like, as a team, it was a little bit of a shaky performance, but I ran pretty well, and then ever since then, I think that built a lot of confidence, and yeah, like, I felt like I deserved to like, be up at the front of those races, which I didn't necessarily do my freshman year, so, yeah. Right, Coach, back to you. Just a lot of people returning, a lot of people that were in the lineup last year, you know, guys like Ransom, Zach Truman, Eli DeServo coming back, and you kind of bring all that back what what do you see from the guys in, in early practices as you get ready for the season um we're looking really good so far um very pleased with where the guys are at uh, in terms of the, the work they put in over the summer uh, we had some nice breakthroughs during track season as well uh, second semester last year uh, from some guys who uh, were banged up during cross country uh, made some big strides during track so uh, we just came back from camp yesterday uh, and very excited about where we're at what we saw at camp we only had one hard workout so far, but it went really well. Um, and our, our depth is very strong. That's one thing that's going to be a big feature of this team, I think, is the depth um, and the, the experience, which we haven't had as much over the past few years. Uh, we've had some pretty solid teams that were very young and kind of learning on the fly. Uh, this year's team, um, most we've got a good, solid uh, freshman class coming in, uh, but we're really going to be leaning more on the, the uh, fifth years, seniors, and uh, juniors, um, a couple sophomores probably, um, to make some big marks on the team and we've got a couple of transfers that we think will uh, potentially make a big impact as well uh, with uh, Antonio Chapa uh, from Purdue Northwest as a grad transfer uh, and Jack Wilson uh, from Butler uh, as a traditional transfer. Those guys also should uh, be factors in, in the mix for us. And Ransom for you just kind of being around the program for a while now what have you seen from those newcomers even the transfers and, and a lot of the freshmen that have come in what have you seen from them that you like and have kind of seen that they can make an impact for this team? Yeah, I'm really excited. Like Coach was saying, um, last year went really well, but I think this year, like, we're kind of a whole new team. Uh, like Tyler Buchanan and Carson Nicoletti were like a little banged up last year and didn't end up even running at regionals or nationals. And those are two guys that I think will be like top five guys for sure. And then, like you said, Antonio Chapa coming in, and yeah, I think this year it's really nice. Like in years past, we've kind of had to like really rely on some good freshmen coming in, but this year it'll be like. If a freshman ends up like doing really well, it'll be like nice rather than like a necessity. So I think that's it's a good thing that like we're starting to develop older runners and yeah, and then younger runners can like kind of take their time and not have to be thrown in and relied on right away. So I think that'll help both the older guys and the younger guys. Scott, looking forward to, to the upcoming meets and the rest of the season. I know you guys are super excited about the, the potential of this team coach. When, when you look at the, the overall whole, kind of getting guys back, the transfers you brought in, what are kind of your expectations for 2022? Um, we just want to compete and get better every week. Uh, that's, that's the biggest thing. Um, we're starting in a good spot now. Uh, we're pretty healthy. And like I said, we have a lot of depth and some talent for sure. Um, we're just going to take things one week at a time. Uh, with it being a Division II festival year, the uh, national meet isn't until December 2nd, so that's a long way off at this point. Uh, we just need to take it one, one week at a time and keep uh, grinding every day. Uh, but when it comes down to it, you know, our biggest goals are to improve on our, our finishes from the GLIAC meet, regional meet, and the national meet from last year. Uh, and we'll see how much we can improve by.
can ransom one more for you. Just individually, kind of building off last year, I would say an All-American, all Gliag. All where do you kind of see yourself when, when all said and done this year? Um, I mean, I really want to focus on like doing whatever I can to help the team place well, which obviously is placing higher. So, I mean, just improving on last year, trying to like move up at Gliag, move up at Nationals, and yeah, score as little as points as possible to contribute to the team score. So.